I'd like to talk to you about shoulder pain. In this case, we're going to be talking about the rotator cuff. What is the rotator cuff, people ask? Rotator cuff consists of four tendons and muscles that attach right to the humerus, which is the arm bone. There's two on the back side. There's one that comes and travels underneath this bone. And there's a third, fourth that comes along the front side. All of them attach to the top of the humerus and are responsible for the small movements in the arm, the little movements. And uh, if they get injured, um, the shoulder does not work quite right. And you end up using muscles, larger muscles like the trapezius to help move your arm. That's a coordination pattern that we don't really want and can further injure the rotator cuff. The rotator cuff, when it gets injured, the most common muscle that is injured in muscle tendon complex is the supraspinatus. And that's because it comes under this bone. And so as you move your arm up into space, what happens is if your arm movement isn't correct, this happens. This is called impingement. And if you get impingement and motion, you get this grinding sensation that happens onto the muscle and it tears. Now the question is, what do you do if it tears? Many of us have small tears and do they heal? And the answer is yes, they do heal. The question then becomes, well, when do you pursue treatment and is surgery necessary? And the answer it says is depends. I suspect that when you have an injury, that I, my thought is that you should be a little bit more aggressive about treating it. Go ahead and at least see a physical therapist who can help correct some of the movement problems that can occur when you have an injury um, and prevent further injury from happening. There's a role for massage, there's a role for acupuncture, and there's some chiropractors who can help um, with that muscle tension. I'm an osteopath. I use uh, OMT or osteopathic manipulation to treat these areas as too and try to get them to calm down. However, if the p discomfort or the pain persists, and the pain usually happens right where the where the tendon attaches and it can radiate down the arm. Sometimes it's found right here. Um, and it occurs with small movements, you know, lifting that arm or um, reaching, and lifting your arm that way. Um, and in which case, uh, some regenerative treatments may be beneficial. And by that, I mean prolotherapy or PRP. So if you have a rotator cuff injury, I suggest that you get it evaluated at least by a physical therapist and if not by a physician um, on the earlier side so that you know what you're dealing with. Mm -hmm.